Hello folks, this is your 2021 May June paper 1 and question number 9. This question is concerned with the chapter we can say forces or we can just say dynamics. Uh, it shows, uh, the graph shows how quantity P varies with quantity Q. P with Q for a body falling vertically downward. So the body is falling vertically downward in a uniform gravitational field. So gravitational field is uniform. The force is constant and with air resistance so this is the major factor here and with the air resistance so for any substance which is falling uh, on a gravity but with air resistance let us recall the graphs of acceleration velocity and displacement because uh, one of the choice is acceleration versus time another is uh, velocity versus time uh, so these two are uh, well dealt with when we deal with the theory itself so the graph for velocity time is somewhat like this so this is a time this is a velocity initially the velocity rises steeply velocity rises steeply but later on the rate of rise becomes less 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 and ultimately the velocity becomes constant which is the terminal velocity it doesn't decrease now it becomes constant so this is the graph for velocity and time the next one is uh, acceleration versus time. So if I draw it right here, and if this is time, and if this is acceleration, then you can see here, you can see here, velocity is constant, which means acceleration is zero. Zero at this stage. Here, the slope of Vt is uh, highest, highest, uh, which means A is highest, because acceleration is the, is equal to the slope of vt graph so a is highest here so now the slope goes on decreasing that means a should go on decreasing decreasing initially uh, the rate is uh, very high the rate of uh, uh, the slope is very high which means a is very high later uh, the slope goes on decreasing a should go on decreasing so it should decrease somewhat like this and some people ask me that uh, why it is not a straight line why it's not a straight line like this is because if I draw like this, if I draw like this, there is a certain change of acceleration here and which doesn't happen. So the overall change should be, should be smooth. So it is, uh, I, I couldn't draw it properly. So it's actually like this, somewhat like this, like this, and this, it's constant like this. Like this, so this over here. Now, so that means uh, choice number B and D are incorrect. Incorrect because the graph is like this so now next is velocity and force of air resistance now what happens is uh, we have a uh, lots of types of opposing forces in some cases the force of opposing is proportional to v in some cases this o f o proportional to v square and so on so if it is v the graph is like uh, like this so this is v this is f o if it is v square it's like this v f o will be a parabolic curve like this definitely not like this so now that means c is also not correct now a for a what i can have is in this case uh, if there is a resistance as well we must have force resultant is equal to force of gravity minus force opposing of the air so if the body is falling here this is force of gravity and this will be force of air resistance which is f o this means this means M A is equal to minus F O plus F O G, which means A is equal to minus one by M F O plus F O G by M, which gives me it's equal to minus one by M F O plus simply F G is equal to M G, so it becomes equal to G. So now if i draw this in y axis and if i draw this in x axis the graph should be a straight line the graph should be a straight line straight line number one and in number two the graph should have a negative slope negative slope because it's minus one by m here and in number three we should have we should have it should have a positive intercept positive intercept positive intercept so that means all these things are seen in this graph we have got negative slope we have got to uh, a straight line graph and we have got positive intercept here so that means p should be 
P should be acceleration. P should be acceleration. Y axis. This should be A. And uh, this should be, should be, should be, should be F O. Opposing force due to air resistance. So, in that sense, choice number A is the best choice here. All others are incorrect. And this is the correct one.